These are the world's best Minecraft seed finders from the Minecraft at Home team, and I got them to search over trillions of seeds for the most insane ones to ever exist. I'm talking about 10 blacksmith villages, 200 block tall woodland mansions, and so much more. But before we look at those, we are so close to 1 million subscribers, so if you can even consider subscribing to the channel, it would mean a ton. Alright, so to start off the search, I asked the team if they could look for the most insane village seeds, and what they found absolutely blew my mind. A taiga village on this seed has 10 different lootable blacksmiths all in the same village, which is nuts compared to your usual one or two blacksmiths. 10 is actually the world record for the most blacksmiths ever found in a village, and just looking at the loot you can find in their chest, the boys and I are gonna have a field day robbing this place. Now that seed might have had a lot of blacksmiths, but what about a seed with the biggest village, or, or should I say city, that has been found in Minecraft? This seed has four different villages pretty much connected to each other making a massive quad village with this huge mountain in the middle all only a few hundred blocks from spawn. And the coolest bit is is that every seed on screen right now has all the villages in the same spots but different terrain and biomes giving you multiple options for your own survival world. Contrary to those villages if you are to load up this seed you will find a very weird site of a village with no houses or buildings right behind where you spawn. This happened because of a really rare and strange glitch on 1.16 that erases all of the houses, and I guess we can call this seed Oklahoma. Now I bet you're thinking that these village seeds can't get any crazier, but just take a look at this one. This village generated so high up on top of this shattered savanna mountain that some of the houses literally got cut off by the sky limit. For a village to generate this high up at Y256 is extremely rare, easily making this a one in a lifetime seed, and then oh oh, did I mention that there is an exposed zombie spawner right underneath the houses? So we can assume that these fellas built so high up to get away from the pillagers, but the pillagers were always one step ahead. Because on this seed, these pillagers built a woodland mansion that's 101 blocks tall with this huge slab of cobblestone below it to make sure it was elevated off the ground. Similar to this in the village from earlier, this seed on an amplified world has a woodland mansion that gets cut off by the sky limit, exposing the whole interior of it from generating so high. That's just the start of the mind-blown pillager seeds though. This seed spawn is home to a quad mansion. If you stand right in this position, you can actually see four different woodland mansions in render distance of each other all ganging up on this small little village in between them. But this, oh my god, this would be the pillagers' greatest mistake. Because on this seed, the villagers said if you want a war, you're gonna get a war. And they built their entire city and desert temple inside of the mansion. Then, by using their blacksmith's lava source, they burned down the entire mansion without lifting a finger, meaning they had gotten the last laugh. As Sun Tzu once said, commit arson. Alright, so if you thought any of those village and mansion seeds were insane, just wait until you see the most mind-blowing stronghold seed. All the way out in the middle of the ocean of this seed, this stronghold's library, entrance, and even portal room generated completely sticking out of the water. It's just so crazy to see a whole portal room on the surface, and what's even more insane is that the entire strongholds can be seen underwater, making this seed an absolute gem. But the one-of-a-kind strongholds don't stop there. Check out this special 1.8.9 seed where you literally cannot beat the game. No matter what stronghold in the world you go to, every single one has an ocean monument that is generated right on top of it which completely wipes out the portal frame. Meaning there's nothing to fill the eyes of Ender with, which makes this seed physically unbeatable. Well, I mean, not, un not unless you do a little trick I call slash game Bruh. mode creative, which in that case you can enter the end and maybe stop stumble across some end dimension seeds you did not think could exist. Like on this seed, the main end island generated completely destroyed with barely any end stone, and almost all of the obsidian spawn pillars go straight into the void without hitting any block. And the best part is, if you kill the dragon, you can't even leave because the exit portal generates cut off in the void and all of your XP is gone! That's not it for the insane end dimension seeds though. On this seed, if you make your way all the way out to the outer end islands, you'll find yourself in front of the chonkiest end cities to ever exist. The end city on this seed looks like an entire society built up in the end, with so many different branches and buildings. With over 25 different rooms, this is actually the biggest end city ever found, and uh, here's what it looks like compared to your average loser one. With such a chonky end city though, can come a lot of chess, but despite its size, that end city comes nowhere near as overpowered to the one on this seed. If you are to loot every single chest inside of this giant end city, 
city, you will collect over 10 diamond armor pieces and tools, a bunch of iron and gold, and get, get this, 60 whole diamonds. <laughs> like, holy crap, I'm not even kidding. When I say there is a whole 42 diamonds in one of the chests. All right, so before we look at some even more seeds, like the most insane Minecraft spawn ever, here are the most ultimate seed facts that will make you look like a genius in a job interview. First off, did you know that you can easily find diamonds using the 1.17 newly added tough block underground. Let's say you're strip mining at Y11 and come across a patch of it. You'll want to mine out the top of it until you find the highest blocks in Y level. After that, turn on chunk borders with F3 and G and find the most northwest block out of the highest one. Then you'll want to go five blocks in the north direction. But if you hit a chunk border, go back to the start and go 11 in the south direction. And if you mine straight down, you will find diamonds. Thank me later. Now the majority of you probably think you know everything about the end dimension, but this next fact will absolutely blow your mind. If you are to travel just over 370,000 blocks out in the end, you will discover that there are no more end islands, and the existing ones are just completely cut off by the void like this. But if you go another 150,000 blocks over the void, you will once again find the end islands continue. It's just incredibly strange that there's just this giant gap in the end dimension, and it's crazy how unknown it's been because nobody ever goes out that far. Another fact involving the different dimensions is if you set up a new world and make it a one biome nether wastelands world, you will find fortresses and nether mobs spawn all over the world despite you actually being in the overworld. That, with also the water pool sitting inside of the nether rack, just makes this a really weird sight, and it even works with the end in end city. We're not done with the insane and unknown seed facts though, because if you load up the specific version 20w28a and go to any birch forest biome, once you fly up, you will soon see that every single tree is perfectly spaced out apart in a grid-like pattern. It's almost like somebody had been there before you and planted them like that, or they just be social distancing. Alright, so we've looked at some of the most insane stronghold seeds and end dimension seeds, but trust me when I say this, we are just getting started. If you load up this seed, you will find yourself spawning inside of a completely intact and sailing pirate ship in the middle of the ocean. Similar to this, on this seed, you spawn right above a buried shipwreck as well. But what makes this one so special is that when dug out, the structure is actually two different shipwrecks that generated perfectly to make one whole ship. But let me tell you, these ocean seeds get even crazier, because if you load up this seed, you will literally spawn on top of two stray grass blocks floating in the air, while also out in the middle of the ocean. I can just imagine somebody loading up Minecraft for the first time, and this is their first impression of the game. Yeah, so three pretty funny, yet one-of-a-kind seeds, but we can push the insanity of these ocean seeds even further. Like on this seed spawn, not only does an ocean monument generate right behind you inside of this shallow little pond, but it actually has a total of 13 different sponge rooms inside. Usually monuments will have one or two sponge rooms, but this one had the craziest RNG and ended up getting 13 total, which tallies up to 374 sponges if you were to mine them all. That's not it for the insane ocean seeds though. What about the largest ocean ever discovered in Minecraft? Well, on on this seed, you spawn on a small piece of land with just a few trees, surrounded by a gigantic 25 million block ocean. I actually tried boating from the very center spawn to find an actual land biome, and it took me over 6 whole minutes, making this a solid survival island seed. Alright, so all of those crazy ocean seeds might seem insane, but none of them come as close to this seed spawn. As soon as you load into the world, you spawn inside of a giant savanna plateau canyon surrounding you from every side like a mountain prison. It's a super crazy seed, especially if you do manage to get out and see it from the top, but unless if you're this guy I found on stock images, there is no way you're getting out of that thing alive. That's just the start of the best mountain seeds though, because if you jump off the peak of this savanna plateau into the double ravine below, you will free fall for a whole 238 blocks. Because of this, this seed actually holds the world record for the tallest natural generated drop in all of Minecraft, and it's actually pretty fun to try to survive survive the fall yourself. Staying on the topic of unique Minecraft terrain, this seed right here has the biggest natural avalanche in all of Minecraft. If you go ahead and break this sand block at 
have these cords. The other Santa blocks around it will fall right after for a satisfying 393 blocks, all made possible with the use of a repeating cave system underneath the surface. Speaking of weird cave systems, this extremely unlikely seed spawns you inside of a giant cave with no trees or anything to help you get out. So you can either manually mine yourself out with your fists or jump into the conveniently placed lava source block. But sometimes spawning inside of a cave can actually be a game changer because on this seed you literally spawn inside of a ravine and end up falling directly onto a patch of diamonds. And there you go, you just got diamonds in 5 seconds. Wait, wait, bruh, bruh, how, how am I supposed to mine these? Funnily enough, the insane ravine seeds don't stop there, because on this seed, all the way out in the Arctic, there is literally just an igloo sitting at the bottom of this triple ravine, which is already out of the ordinary. But it's also just chilling on top of a lava lake without melting or anything. Like, bruh, seems like a bad place to build an igloo, <laughs> am I right, fellas? The seeds shown so far in this video just scratch the surface of seed finding, though. So if you want to see some even more insane seeds like these, and even help out with finding them, join the Minecraft at Home team's Discord down below.